I'm rebutting the affirmative case. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, what you would do, if you're going to rebut the affirmative case, let's say you don't know what cards to read. You're going to go to your neg section here. You've got these neg cards. Now, Welch is in your case. Cunningham's in your case. You're going to go past those, and you're going to go to the next card after that. You've got here. Ground troops are not going to solve the ISIL problem. It's Beauchamp, right? That's the one I was thinking of, Beauchamp. So, um, I know I'm going to read that in rebuttal. I got the tote bill. This is to extend uncertainty, but you can also use it as a rebuttal to whatever you want to use, okay? The tote bill. So, we've got two cards already lined up right here. You can use no matter what you hit, all right? If you know what an art, use them on the ones you know least well, right? Because those are the ones you're, you can use the general ones. This one here, pregnant is, um, uh, it's not highlighted, but, uh, well, yeah, you don't want to really use pregnant on, um, on neg, except because th this is the thing. It is labeled an egg card, but it talks about how difficult it's going to be to get them out of Mosul no matter what we do. So you really, if you're going to use this, you need to be arguing it's not solvable no matter what, okay? Um, but the point is, you probably won't need to get any deeper than these couple of cards right here, okay? These three here. You've got Beauchamp, you've got um, the Tocqueville, and then right after Prague and Stackpole, okay? So Stackpole is a good one as well to extend. All right, so here we go. Um,